Back in the early 1990s, a certain legend sprang to life thanks to the TV show Wadatte Itomo. A viewer sent in an apparently cursed CD with a message that stated, Please listen to the CDs of B's album Risky. At first it really is B's, I think. But now, every time I listen to it, it seems to change. The volume changes by itself and sometimes the CD player turns itself off. Something strange always happens when I listen to it. This might be a massive discovery, but I'll give the CD to you guys instead. The album in question was released on November 7th, 1990, three years before it was sent into the show. Of course, the host Tamori decided to play the CD on his show to check the veracity of the viewer's claims, and you can see that, yes, the CD he puts in is indeed the B's Risky album. And that's where the weirdness starts. You can still find this clip on the internet, so I'll play a bit of it here so you can see for yourself. The song that plays very much isn't a bees song, and as you saw, the reaction was chilling to what sounded like a ghostly voice coming out of the player at varying volumes. Was the CD actually cursed? How was it possible for an entirely different song to come from the Bees album? And what about the rumours of it apparently changing each time people listen to it? It has taken a while, and the internet has done a lot of digging to solve some of these problems, but many still remain unsolved to this day, so let's take a look. First of all, there's no denying that the CD that Tamori puts into the CD player is the Bees album Risky. He compares it to the actual album, and you can see for yourself that it's the same thing. Back in the early 1990s, it was near impossible for someone to replicate an officially pressed CD without some very, very expensive equipment, and these types of CDs couldn't be recorded over either. At the very least, what they had was a genuine product, but the problem remains of how the strange song got on there in the first place, and whether it really did change with each listen or not. Which brings us to the next point. What song was it that had apparently been recorded on this CD instead of the Bees album? Well, listeners did some digging and discovered that it was actually the album Niji Umu by Haino Keiji. Interestingly, this album was released only two weeks before the Bees album. You can listen to this album on YouTube for yourself. I'll include a link in the comments but you can hear it's certainly unique and rather creepy. If you were expecting bees and got this instead, it's easy to see how you might think the CD was cursed. The volume also raises and lowers a lot, and there are periods of silence, so this all fits with what the original viewer claimed. In the early 2000s, Nii Channel users once again dug this old legend up and debated what it could have really been, and you can still find talk of it today several decades later. Of the two things that are certain is that the CD physically looks like the Bee's Risky album, while the sound that comes out of it is the Niji Umu album. The claims of it sounding different each time it was played were never confirmed, and it was played on the same show again at a later date. It's possible the original owner of the CD was simply hearing different tracks on the CD when they thought they were listening to something else, or that they just made that part up to make it sound even creepier. We may never know. The one big remaining question that still hasn't been answered to this day, however, is how the CD came to be in the first place. The most likely answer is some type of manufacturing accident, considering how closely both CDs were printed and released. But even then, it seems a little odd that only one single CD was ever discovered with this defect. Could the original owner have created it themselves? Of course, it's possible, but considering how expensive and difficult it would have been at the time, it's also unlikely. So what happened here? 
To this day, nobody knows. People are still debating what might have happened to cause this one CD to play an entirely different album, and whether it might actually have been cursed or not. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.